All right. Don't know if I want to put myself through like a hard combo again. Let's just re-roll the random. Okay, it gave me the same exact thing. That can't be right. Okay, three and two. What's that give me? This. Gives me stitching and awoken. That's too easy though. Let's do it again. I want something not super hard, but not super easy. So four and three. What's that give me? That's like pretty hard actually. I don't think this is a very good combo. I should probably practice it though. Let's see what I just don't find much synergy here. Daedalus the Professor, Fell Wings of Light. Well, I mean, they're all, he's always a little Wings of Light with his Rage Fell. And the Professor is always the Professor. But Seraph gets custom endings. Why don't these guys get custom endings? Like Daedalus the Twice something, you know? It's twice some cool phrase. twice uh, he was like a smith right wasn't Daedalus a smith the twice I don't know I can't come up with anything I'm not creative right now uh, rage fell fell the wings of anger see see how easy that was starting perils so ember drains a possibility Titan's Grat, always good to start with. Prism Retrieval, one of the worst cards in the game. Overall, it's okay. Superfood or aggressive? I'm pretty sure aggressive, right? I don't know. I've been going aggressive a lot lately when I in this combo. The superfood doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. However. Also, Ember Drain is pretty actually tough to pull off with Seraph the Diligent. Not impossible, but it's like not the most smooth thing. You kind of have to hellvent your held over perils once or twice to make it work, or have a lot of zero cost fodder spells. But you know, perils and super food. It is pretty good. I'll try it. This is pretty good with Superfood. As long as you remember to play the Primordium first. I literally just got the upgraded version of Superfood Primordium here. Spikes shouldn't matter. They can just blink all these guys to death. Question is, well, we didn't get a. Yeah, we should just set up here. I think I'm gonna go all in on this. Ah, I could have set up here, probably. Yeah, whatever. So I got a huge damage guy here. That's the best prism retrieval we'll ever find. got the 14 kill. Alright. This is nice fodder. 
this is just good spell. Three of them is a bit much, but whatever. We'll try to get as many upgraded as we can. Sweeper is probably the best here. Um, yeah. Just takes out everything a bit better. So we want to upgrade these over the planks, I think. We can always just remove the planks or put them at zero to make them good fodder targets. 60 plus. I think I still do this. Make that zero. We roll. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It had to do that to me, huh? 120 is literally the max gold it could have cost if I would have gotten any other one. I thought it was worth the risk there. Apparently, motherfucking not. That's really fucking annoying, if you ask me. I'll hedge my bets here. Make that one zero. Make this one consume stoned. Purge a steward, sure. At least the prism retrieval once I'm in Ember Drain is a fine fodder target. Lack of invasion just sort of has to happen. Alright, so we put you down first, put you down, do a plank. And it's either take three damage here or take one damage there. I'll take the three. Might as well put these down, sack them, sacrifice them. And we can do this. This goes here. That. Oh, you're still fucking dazed, huh? That sucks. Is what it is, I guess. Yeah. Gotta get quick on this girl. But then if I kill that, I'd lose out on that boss rush. I'll risk it. Wow, two planks, all of them into the boss. Cool story, though. Once I get quick though, I think just the initial here, as long as I can get stalwart, even if I end up with superfood, but I'll have so much of this, this seems a bit redundant if I'm being honest. I don't think I'd take any of these. This could synergize well, but I could probably, yeah, I got a lot of front loaded damage. Let's do it. Synergize as well and helps kill bosses and stuff. I think we go here, try to get like multi strike and quick. There's the multi strike. No sense rerolling here. Hellhorned, I could get like a double rage thing. 
Once I get perils and hold over, I'll have a pretty decent amount of rage. Or just dark deal works too. Or alloy. I mean alloy. Eh, I already got the damage shield. What about just spike the hell horned? If I could find something to perils along with it, that's actually a lot of rage and armor. Would I be crazy for not taking Dark Deal? I should just take Dark Deal. That's like such a good card. I need to hold out for Quick. Quick's gonna basically make all my defensive scaling happen. So, every merchant from here on out counts, and I should try to hold as much gold as possible for him. Definitely gotta go up top. Good thing I put him down first. Almost didn't. Let's put some frostbite on this sucker. And... I don't know, just get this guy out of the deck or something. Is it worth it for me to do this? It probably is. I lose a damage shield, but I think it's worth it. And I can plank this. No, come up. I guess that's just gonna happen. I can put. Uh, Frostbite is nice. Do you kind of like the uh, the little animation stance? I feel like the stance of Cold Kaleo when she kills people is pretty awesome. Wouldn't that be awesome if Shroud Spike actually worked on your thing? Oh, Wretch Shoot would be awesome. Let's take Wretch. Wretch could definitely, if we end up with superfood like three times because we couldn't find Stalwart, Wretch is a great out. I'd still prefer to just have Stalwart, but now we got an out. A little late for Overgorger. I don't have the Morsel generation to make it work. I've always wondered if Titan Sentry would be decent too for this, but whatever. We already got the best unit for this combo, I'm pretty sure. Since I am planning on going Ember Drain, I'm pretty sure it's just double draw. Let's try to get it here. We can reroll for it if we don't see it. Alright. And I really hope I don't regret that 120 gold coming in. Fucking me over like it did. <laughs> I 
You could argue I could just pivot to aggressive edible, then I could get to 20, and then by or uh, 20 by the time the end comes around. Because I don't, I don't know. I'll hold out for stall right now until I get to quick. It'll be nice to have that extra damage shield, especially with like these multi strikers and stuff. We should be fine setting up the top here though. Not the great time to draw a wretch, I'll tell you that. Should I go to this instead of here? No, he's got multi-strike. I could try to get some initial damage here. Oh, you're dying. Well, whatever. guys are not going to die yet. Uh, I got both of them here. I'd be Ember Drain till Kingdom Come if I do that. However, I don't actually have anything worth playing for Ember other than that. So, I'm going to do it, I guess. Just kind of need that extra scaling. And uh, we'll just do this. Should have actually been that. Fuck that up a bit. These guys are actually dying. Means I can probably just do this. Let's get this guy back in. Give me more rage, brah. Doesn't even matter if I play any of these. This will actually give me the damage shield that I need, though. That's nice. Let's do that. Should have actually played that thing last turn. Got an extra bit of damage in there. But we got him. That's just nice too. Superfood, if you didn't uh, weren't aware, the dazed doesn't actually affect you, your main guy, because the dazed. It's weird how it works, because it's like turn one if you play them both, turn two your main guy will be dazed. However, if you retch the guy, you, you know you retch your superfood back in. He's not actually dazed ever because the, the superfood is, but like your actual main unit is not because. He consumes the days after, before the turn resolves, if that makes sense. But the reason that it doesn't work on the when you do it first turn is because he already has a day, so it stacks one, then resolves and removes it, so you still have one left over. I don't know, it's non obvious, in my opinion, interaction, but uh, it is what it is. I'll take this. Uh, do I? I don't know if that's worth it. Oh, it's worth it. Let's take it. I don't know. If I take... If I skip it, I'm at 155, which if I re-roll it, it still doesn't allow me to buy anything anyway. Is this worth it? I feel like not. I mean, I've already got a lot of damage shield. Once I get quick, I will not need any. I really won't. Plus it's gold. Yeah, this is...
this is technically potentially worth it, but I don't think so. So what if our shop's looking like? Unfortunately, this floor sucks, but then, well, there's a vortex there, hell vent there. I think it's a quick more important than the perils on Helven at this point. So here's the thing. Still haven't found Void Binding or Furnace Tap. If we don't, that perils on Holdover isn't that important. And honestly, I've everything is zero cost right now, honestly, so yeah, let's go for the quick. Plus, I got this Pyre Stone housing. I could also get an additional multi strike, which would be awesome. Let's do this. I guess. Endless. There we go. Quick. I would potentially do a large stone as well. Um, should I hold out for another multi-strike or just start myself off with 10 extra damage? Question is if I'm hitting up any more Merchant of Steels. I could potentially hit this since there's a hell vent. How greedy do I want to be here? I'm most likely hitting that merchant of magic up. This side doesn't look as good as this, but if I do find an ember drain, I'll tell you what. I'll leave it open. If I. I could maybe just get. Yeah, I don't know. The thing is, 10 would be the best thing for me if I don't get the multi strike, so. I just take this now. might save me a lot of pyre health. Nah. You know I also could use this Umbra Stone. We'll hold out for the multi-strike. Plus I get to save the gold for the next one. Could or could not be relevant, maybe. Alright, play Primordium first. Super steward. Interesting. Oh, we haven't really, uh, horrible turn to do all these things in. those perils. S N D H. Let's do this. Um this. save myself that hit. guys die so if I do that again it doesn't happen. Alright we got him. This guy probably needs a hit then. This is not the guy I want to see. I got all this damn shield. This 
we got a little bit of that frost spike going. Alright, good sign that we can take him out. Potentially. Potentially. Though this would be fodder. Hmm. I've got a lot of ways to discard this. I feel like that would be good. One problem. Another problem I'm going to have. So those purifiers getting through. I think I'm gonna have to set up in the middle or even bottom. I don't know. Maybe I should have just got that plus ten damage. Then I could set up at the bottom. I'd apply enough frostbite that I could maybe finish things off with the Titan's tooth. It's tough, tough call. Well, Hellvent here. Don't actually have great Hellvent targets. Kind of sucks. Let's just go this route. Boo. Um. This is tempting. I think I need to really try for Cuddlebeard, actually. <laughs> There we got him. Ask and ye shall receive. That really allows me to go in at the bottom though, a little more comfortably. Uh, I got a Forgotten Boons along with this Merchant of Magic, so let's take out this last steward. I was going to go in the middle, but not now. We get all that rage, that'll be nice. Um, let's do this. I need it on the boss. Put a little bit there. Let's do this. This guy's living somehow. Do this. More rage and stuff. Let's do this here. Don't actually want to eat it. I don't think. Because I might need to wretch again. This is actually pretty sick, like able to retch all that time. 
I might just go aggressive for the final one then. Should have just gone aggressive both, but I didn't know if I was going to get wretch or not, so you know, it is what it is. Bastard. You know, like a walk away, walk away three or something. Oh my god, furnace tab. Yes, now I really have the nuts. Definitely this. Now we just gotta get, uh, yeah, we gotta get hold of on perils. It is imperil tariff that we do that. I would get this in addition, but then I can't reroll for perils. I could do this to something though. Make it zero cost. Let's make that one zero cost. And yes, we got it. 95. That's what you should have been before, buddy. And then that'll probably be the hell vent target. We should get this down to one, I think. Or these at zero. Let's get these at zero. I like that fodder that they just provide. Let's do that. That was a very efficient use of gold. Nice. Purge a card, gain a card. Let's purge a flank anyway. Don't need all them. I could get some pretty good Umbra stuff. That's not one of them. I was hoping for either Furnace Tap or Umbra Stone. Umbra Stone and my Trample would be quite nice. No need to do this. Let's just do the aggressive then. I like this. The uh, retching is pretty nice. Heaven Seal doesn't mean anything, I don't think. Just set up at the top. Put you down first. Like we always do. Do this. Do that. Start with that. Cry if I can't play, you know, whatever it's called. Try to step. Let's go for this. Fuck you, game. Fuck you, game. Fuck you hard. Fuck you very much. Nice. Oh, now you show up. Oh, he's dying anyway. 85 by 2. Wait, that doesn't actually kill him. So why don't we do this? Now it kills him. That and this and that, yeah. I only stacked 9 damage shield. That doesn't seem right. Doesn't really matter what we do here, does it? I just, I might as well just end turn on it. Yay, wretch! This first step. Yeah, I could probably do this, right? Not that I'm gonna need it. Cut the air now. Uh, 
Don't need any of these other than maybe Feast, but probably not. Probably just want to get to my other cards. And I think I have enough fodder at this point. Titan's Tooth is fancy, but eh, not really needed. So I think we just hellvent that perils. And then go for our chance at multi-strike here. There's always a large stone as well, but I think I'll go for the one out of three just for... Yeah, okay, we didn't get it. I'll just do this then. Get an initial five damage. Yay. <laughs> Should have just took the other shit. What do we got here? Anything worth getting? Not really. Hell then this. I think we just keep the gold. This is, should be a win. We'll want to go in probably the middle here. Let's do the middle here because then I can get this uh, frostbite here right off the bat. I guess I'm not going to do this perils? Oh shit. I did not want to do that. Alright, this doesn't count. You get one mulligan with, with Villagen, right? You get one mulligan. Alright, this is what we're doing. And actually, I should probably just do this. I don't know if this is worth doing here. Be a lot of extra rage. Nah. Well, it looks like I would have. <laughs> I'm just gonna burn this one, I think. I'm gonna do this. This. Try for that. Nice. So you're dying. I guess I'm gonna do this just so he dies. We got some serious rage stacking now. This is a great target here. Now, unfortunately, I think I'll just do this now. Interesting throw away once again. Let's get rid of all those useless things. Do this. Frostbite there. We can just do this.
Well, superfood's still not so bad. You know, I think I would still go superfood, I guess. I don't know. If I didn't get rich, though... I guess even without wretch, I guess I would have been fine, honestly. I wouldn't have been as insane, but like, still would have been killing everything pretty handily. 40k, not bad. Not bad for setting up at the top on most fights. But see how much... Just even getting to the second floor gets you a lot of extra points in that last fight. 10,000. But yeah, all these ones weren't so great. Still okay run. Until next time. Peace.